Hi, my name is Kristen Cloutier. It's my first year here at Grand Canyon University, and I'm studying towards a degree in history for secondary education. I'm currently enrolled in SEC 201, Early Adolescent Psychology, and this week we've been discussing the dispositions of teachers and how they will affect our students' moral and psychological development. Some dispositions I feel I already possess are compassion, dedication, professional conduct, and respect for diversity. I know that as I begin teaching, I will need to learn more about advocacy and that reflection will constantly evolve throughout my teaching career. It's so important to create an environment for students where everyone feels comfortable and respected and understood. And I truly believe that every student possesses the ability to learn, that teachers need to be patient and provide their students with as many opportunities to grasp the concepts as possible. Also, as my teaching career progresses, I know that I will have to learn how to set realistic expectations for my students. Everybody is going to learn differently, and everybody is going to work at their own pace. And knowing as a teacher how students progress and what they're capable of is something that will become easier with time. I believe that moral development is essential for teachers to try to nourish in their students and to do that. Um, the best way to do that is by setting a positive example and by having a great relationship with members of the community, parents, and other staff members and modeling the behavior for our students that we want them to show. Also, lessons being structured to um, highlight positive morals um, is an excellent way to teach students how they should behave in society. Advocacy is one of the most intimidating dispositions for me because of the teacher's role as mandated reporters. We are required to report any suspicious behavior when we feel a child might be at risk um, of abuse or neglect. Um, for me, that will take some time getting comfortable, and I will rely strongly on support from my fellow teachers to navigate when and how to insert myself into a child's life in that way. For the most part, I believe dispositions are extremely important to children's moral and psychological development. It's so important to have standards so that students have consistent um, experiences when they move from teacher to teacher throughout the their education. Dispositions of teachers provide some consistency for students as they move throughout their education and have different educators um, influencing them. I think that as a history teacher, I will include a lot of moral instruction in my lessons, especially because I believe that it's important for morals to be taught at home, but at school you get application of morals and you get that thought of how can we avoid this in the future, um, which I think is extremely important when you're teaching history. And not leading the child to, like, this is right or this is wrong, but just asking them questions and having them form opinions and, like, understand what goes on in the world. And how they personally feel. Because I think independent thought and critical thinking and developing your own sense of morality and how you feel about it, not just what you're told to believe, is extremely important. And teachers can provide a safe place for discussion and debate and for students to get a new perspective without feeling like they have to feel a certain way. So I think that school provides a unique opportunity for students to grow in their independence and that these dispositions help teachers maintain um, their proper place in the child's life.